Hey, if you're looking to build a profitable freight dispatch business this year, then this video is for you. I'm Antoine West. As many of you know, I started my business about seven years ago, but I do realize I have a lot of new subscribers on my channel. So I do want to explain my story to those of you who haven't heard it. And those of you who have, I just want you to listen to the message, listen to this, this, uh, the wealth in my story. Because like, just as you read a book, you're reading someone's story and their, the problems they had and the solutions they came up with. So when I tell you my story, it's just like reading a book and you will see the problems I have because this, the problems I had when I first started my freight dispatch business is the same problems a lot of you are having. So basically I start, this was my first business I ever started. I was working a full-time job and I, when I started this business, I had no prior business experience, no type, no prior sales or marketing experience. So, but I just wanted to make money for myself and be able to live, leave my full-time job. So when I opened the business, I learned freight dispatching because just like a lot of you guys, like sometimes you're only focused on learning the freight dispatching a aspect of it. And, but the thing about that is a lot of people learn the freight dispatching aspect of it. That's what every, everyone learns, right? You got to think about it. It's a lot of people in the market, a lot of people that have learned how to be a freight dispatcher. And it's a lot of people that still fail to build a successful freight dispatching company because it's not only about learning the freight dispatching side of it. It's a business. You have to learn how to run a business if you already, if you don't know already. So, um, as long as you know how to run a successful business, meaning as long as you ran, ran two or three or built successful businesses before, you should be okay when you come into freight dispatching. And if you don't, you have to learn from someone that already done it, right? So I came into this game not knowing anything about marketing and sales, so I struggled my first month. During my first month, I could not find any drivers. I could, and I say find because really it's attract. You have to attract your customer, right? You can't just go out there and find someone, find a driver. You have to attract that driver into your business by giving them value, right? So I get into that in, in, in a minute here, but I, I couldn't find any drivers to sign up for my company. I tried going to the truck stops. I tried social, uh, social media marketing. I was on Facebook. I tried cold calling. And I tried everything that I could do, I, that I knew to do, I tried. And I couldn't get anyone to sign up for my company. So I was about ready to give up, just like I know a lot of my students are sometimes when you come to my training and mentorship, right? So that's the reason, that's one thing I, I work with your belief to let you know it's possible, right? You just have to have the right ideas, right? And I've already been there. So anything that you're going through in your business, I've already been there and done that and thought about the solutions to get here. Because what I want to do now is to teach you to build a passive income for a dispatch business where you hire other dispatchers to work for you. I'll get more into that in a later video. So, but I, I tried all the ways of marketing that I could and I couldn't find any drivers. So I had an idea to just take a week off from thinking about freight dispatching and I thought um, only about marketing and sales. I started reading business books. I started on YouTube only looking at uh, marketing and sales videos. Everything I'd done was about marketing and sales and that's what made me successful. And to, just to think about it, that's what I, why I teach you marketing and sales in my training. So I'm already teaching you the information that I know that I know that you need to, to know to be successful. So after studying all that marketing and sales information, what, what I took from it was that in any industry, any business, you have to think of an offer that's better than the market and then get that offer out as, to as many people as possible. So you have to lead with your offer. You can't offer the same thing everyone else is offering. To put it simple, what I see a lot of freight dispatchers trying to do is like everyone's offering a cheeseburger and it's like the exact same cheeseburger. It's nothing different about the offer, right? So that's what your business, your business is mainly your offer. Your business is not learning freight dispatching. You know, anybody can do that. That's not building a business. Your business starts with your offer, right? Having an offer that makes your business unique. So that we call that your UVP, unique value proposition. 
So I started to look in within the market, see what everyone else was offering. And then I started to come up with different ideas. You know, the books also did say that your offer would basically turn into the market, right? Years after that, your offer would turn into the market because it brings so much value. So that's why you have to lead with the offer that's better than the market. Because when you lead with that, it brings so much uh, value to the market after uh more and more people leave with that exact same offer, the market would basically turn into that. And that's what the market is today. So we always have to think of a higher offer. You know, it's a lot of people in freight dispatching that also, um, some people say, is, is it oversaturated? Is in any market in the world, it, it can never become oversaturated because our minds have to just think of a higher offer than the current market and the market will start rising up to that level, to that offer. You know, you hear me what I'm saying? Rising up to that level. So it's like pretty, pretty easy to see how this goes. Business is kind of like common sense when you really look at it. But so I led with that offer. What I did is I started to offer um, oversized loads to the drivers, get their permits, uh, do their IFTA, their quarterly fuel taxes, do that for the drivers. If the owner operator had a second truck and it was sitting, I would find another driver for that second truck. So I basically started to do everything that I could, everything that I could think of at the time that I didn't see other dispatching services do in the market. And then I started to market that. Then I, then I started doing cold calls again. I started doing um, Facebook. I started marketing in Facebook, doing some Facebook ads. I was just going out to the truck stop. So I started doing everything I was doing again, but I led with that offer. And then I started to get some drivers to sign up with me, right? So it's just about leading with a better offer than the market. So then you don't blend in with the market because if you're blending in with the market, nobody's going to have a reason to sign up with you. You aren't going to attract any drivers like I was saying in the beginning. That's why it's not finding a driver. You have to attract that driver into, into your business or attract that customer in, into your business. So at any time, this is how you start a freight dispatch business you lead with the offer and then you think of all the different marketing channels this is setting up your your uh, business pipeline for for success right so what you need to do when you first start any business especially a freight dispatching business you need a pipeline you need a you need to create a system uh, um, an automatic pipeline to get customers or in this case drivers in, into your business so you set that up from the beginning so in my, in my courses and my mentorship, what I teach you is I teach you to lead with the offer. I go straight to the marketing and sales, right? You also have access to my freight dispatching training, my general freight dispatching training, but we're gonna concentrate on the marketing and sales because everyone, a lot of people worry about getting drivers, right? And that's what you, what you should think about, right? But you need to have the right ideas to attract drivers into your business and that idea needs to be automatic. So basically what I did is I created an automatic pipeline to get drivers and if you listen to any of my stories or how I teach, that's the whole big the whole big success story about myself. I started with the automatic pipeline by having that different offer and then marketing it on on Facebook, um, passing out flyers at at the truck stops and since I'm mentioning that, I want to tell you, if you do go out and pass out flyers and you think of that better offer, make sure you put a QR code in, on there. You know, you should have a QR code that goes to your preferably funnel or pipeline, like leads to drivers, or if you have a website, like right now, preferably a website. So it's about traffic too. So that's another big, uh, big thing about my success. I use the analytics. I started off by getting traffic to my, my website and into my pipeline. And then through my marketing efforts, I made that automatic where social media attracted people to my social media page. And then from there into to my, my website, right? But you have to have a better offer because you have to have a reason for people wanting to click on your videos or your posts, right? So that's why your offer has to be different and you have to be saying something different than the rest of the market and you will always attract your perfect client or your perfect driver. But if you guys have any questions on anything in this video, make sure you comment down below. And also, if you want your first five days free of leads to drivers, click the link down below also. Thank you for watching this video.